Hey everyone, this is Nona again from the Alliance Lover. I have the flamboyant natural video analysis for you today. I know a lot of you asked for this type next. So here it is. Um, here's just a quick reminder also that if you'd like a personal customized video analysis, you can go check that out on thealliancelover.com. And I also offer shorter written analyses. And during the video analyses, I will be explaining all of your Kibi question answers, um, why I pick them, like the range of <clears throat> different body types of the different body areas so that you know why I answered the way I did. And I also give recommendations and kind of analyze the different outfits you send me. So go ahead and check that out at thealignedlover.com. Okay, so we're gonna go right into Blake Lively's flamboyant natural look. So Blake Lively is flamboyant natural because she has a good mix of dramatic and natural. She has like the broad bluntness to her, but she also has like the more streamlined, lean, long, uh, not sinewy, but quite thin lines of a dramatic and um, what you get is someone who looks very powerful they're tall they're they're they have a presence you know they have a, a power to them so that they don't have to be too fierce or too feisty they can kind of relax and you know they're just innately confident it's kind of like uh, like a golden retriever, a large dog doesn't have to be as feisty <laughs> as a small dog. I hope that doesn't you know rub anyone the wrong way, but um, another fine point natural is like Wonder Woman. So you can think of them as a strong, slightly more yin tea figure. So we're going to get into that. I really want to go over her more wonderful appropriate looks because you can really see the beauty the specific beauty of the flamboyant natural and then we'll go into looks that just aren't um as appropriate that don't do her as much justice so <clears throat> if we look at this picture here we have so many amazing flamboyant natural elements let's talk about the hair it's flowing uh it's a nice natural color has those beautiful very organic looking highlights um, and then with the prints, flamboyant naturals can pull off like many prints in big bulky shapes, big bulky fabrics because they have the, the body structure to support it. They don't get overwhelmed by big, bold details at all. So they look really, really great in it. It really helps bring their specific beauty out. They can really, really support it. And it looks fun on them. It looks free spirited. It looks relaxed. And it still looks crisp on them, unlike oversized, bulky material or fabrics or shapes on other types that kind of eat them up. Somehow on the flamboyant natural, it manages to look crisp. Uh, here, I really want to point out that free-spirited vibe. <laughs> it's very apparent here. Um, so I want to talk about the shape of this outfit. So. Flamboyant naturals don't need a super precise outlining of their body. You know, their body has enough structure that the fabric kind of just flows with it. Um, they don't need to emphasize too much or exaggerate too much because their body already has strong lines. So the fabric kind of just folds to it. That's why they need <clears throat> fabric that has a little bit more body and books so that their their lines can instruct the fabric and the fabric stays in shape to follow their lines. Whereas if they wear something too like chiffon -y and translucent and soft, it doesn't emphasize what their body already instructs. So here she has a loosely defined waist with a big, bold, chunky belt. Um, the shape is wonderful. Flamboyant White Naturals look really great with like flowy, big sleeves um and big bold prints like the one on this dress looks very natural wild um almost like an animal skin inspired design um and it hits really well like right um just slightly above mid upper thigh so you get that nice strong balance 
Um, the balance of the flamboyant natural is a little bit more upwards, whereas the classic, everything is symmetrical, 50-50-50, perfect balance proportions. And then with like a romantic, it's a bit more like um, a little bit lower down the body is where the balance is most emphasized. Um, the flamboyant natural, it's kind of an upward balance. Like the balance is struck here and then the rest kind of flows and it's a good mix of upper body strength and then kind of a relaxed silhouette on the lower body. So we have that in this wonderful dress and her hair is nice and flowy and this is a great bag for Flame White Natural. It doesn't overwhelm at all. It's fun. It's relaxed. Great look. Here I just want to emphasize the shape again. Loose definition of the waist and um, the shoulders. And Boyant Naturals have great shoulders. They're not too bony most of the time. Um, they can be really muscular and athletic looking like Cameron Diaz. Um, but here, Blake's are just kind of supermodel-esque, 90s, very 90s, broad, strong shoulders where you don't need shoulder pads, but they're not gonna like cut through you. Um, so that's the reason I included this, just to show off the shoulder before we get more into the other other outfits. Hair is a nice shade. It's very relaxed. It's tousled. You look great with bed head. Um, just nice and flowing. I wouldn't particularly pick this fabric or these prints for um, a flamboyant natural, but I just really wanted to point out the, the loose waist emphasis in the shoulders. So here, oh, this is Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful flame white natural. There are not many types who can pull off this shape, this look. You have bold, chunky, upper body, like um, exaggeration, especially with the, the collarbones, the shoulders, all of this is so wonderful in the flame white natural. I mean, you really emphasize it. It gives them a very regal, powerful look, not like a, a precise princess regal, like a classic and not like a more serpentine, sensual queen, like a theatrical romantic. It's more like a powerful Amazonian when it comes to the flamboyant naturals flavor of, you know, royalty or the regal look. So it's really wonderful here and you get those um, really fun, funky sleeves that work so well. The loose waist emphasis and then the, the dress underneath just hits so wonderfully. You get that um, nice, you know, upper body like, flounciness and then like a clean cut on the thighs that really emphasizes the length of the legs. And they're strong legs. Then white naturals usually have a little bit more musculature. They're not like dramatics where they have very lean, sinewy legs. Um, the flamboyant natural has a bit more, you know, strength to their look. So <clears throat> again, Amazonian queen. So this is just such a wonderful look on her. I love, love this. You know, if I wore it, I'm 5'3", I would just get eaten up by that very, very quickly. Here, I just wanted to point out the, the importance of remembering that flamboyant natural does have a lot of dramatic. They're a mix of dramatic, natural. So <clears throat> the reason that she looks so wonderful in this is because she has many dramatic aspects present here. The, her face is more on the dramatic side. It has like this leanness and this narrowness, even though she does have those um, blunt angles, it's not as powerfully broad or wide as say like Cameron Diaz or um, the the 90s supermodels. Um, it's, it's a bit more dramatic, a bit more, I'm not going to say refined in the terms of like quality or sophistication, but just it just looks a bit more streamlined. So she looks really wonderful in this pulled back sleek hair, um, the very glamorous but sharp makeup it's like very clean sharp it's a it's a kind of like a minimalist brush stroke 
kind of art where it's like small, thin, precise, long lines. And um, it's very well supported in this book. Here again, we have kind of a riff on the outfit that I applauded, plus a little bit of the dramatic and the, the very sleek hairstyle. So we have this nice, chunky, bold shape, the silhouette, especially with the sleeves, really emphasizes that strength and width of the upper body, um, slight waist emphasis, the scarf, the white naturals can just pile on scarves, it looks great on them especially when they still leave room for the shoulders to be emphasized. <laughs> um, and then the, the legs are shown off really well. Here we have another beautiful Femme Natural silhouette. They look really great with um, the, the, the hemline of the skirt just grazing the upper thigh, like middle to, to top of the upper thighs really helps show off their very lean, powerful frame. It's like a, like a T. If you're going to really emphasize the legs, you really want to emphasize the legs. Don't be shy. Um, she looks really wonderful in this kind of like, I'm not going to say bohemian, but very bohemian inspired kind of vibe. It's a little free-spirited, witchy, minimalist. I don't know how to describe this, but the hair is great. Um, and the shoulders are still emphasized. You know, since they do have strong shoulders, even if you just put them in like a, a t-shirt, it's going to get emphasized. Here, I just want to really applaud the, um, the naturalness and the lightness of the hair and the makeup. Um, I know Lots of flamboyant naturals look really, really wonderful with a bold red lip, but that's more for flamboyant naturals whose faces are a bit more on the natural, more broad, more wide, powerful side, like um, Gal Gadot or um, Jessica Biel. But with Blake, her features are a little bit more subtle, a little bit more on the dramatic side, so they're not as prone to being kind of washed up by an all natural look. Whereas with a, a wider flamboyant naturals, it's best to like really emphasize the mouth with a nice red lip clean because it um, really brings some kind of um, separation to the face. So it isn't just so, so so expansive, but Blake's face is a bit more subtle. Her features are a little smaller. So here, like I was talking about, um, they say Fem White Natural's best makeup look is the bright red lip. And um, Blake already has very precise, very outlined, not sharp, but they're very precise facial features. So. She doesn't really need that bright red lip to bring more definition and um, separation to her face. By separation, I mean like something to break up the features with like, say someone like with Liv Tyler, it's like big, 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 and you need something to kind of like pop out or else it's just a continuous span of large features. But with Blake, hers are smaller. So she doesn't need that treatment as much. And because she doesn't need that treatment as much, she doesn't benefit from it as much. So I think she looks the best in like the most natural makeup with just like slight dramatic emphasis. Here I want to point out the hair. Hair is lovely, very tousled, bedhead. They look great in very messy hair. They don't look like a hot mess at all. It just looks very good on them. They can pull it off. Here I just want to point out the wonderful shoulder emphasis. They look so healthy with a shoulder emphasis and when they wear like a tight form-fitting skirt they don't need to go too tight or too too harsh on the waist emphasis because they don't need to create those angles they're more broad i want to focus on the broadness and the flow of their different broad regions it flows into each other it's not 
super cinched in. So here, I just wanted to bring attention to this. What do you guys think? Um, personally, I think that she looks great. You know, Blake Lively usually looks awesome all the time, but it doesn't have the same effect as the other ones. She doesn't look as regal or powerful. It's um, not the, my favorite look because of the the small details um, of the dress. They're a little ornate. Uh, I'm not gonna say Baroque, but it has like the same sentiment and vibe. And then the um, the shape of the dress doesn't really, really um, emphasize her natural body type. But the reason I put this in here is because the hair. <laughs> it's just such a good example of like that natural tasseled hair. Last one for the good ones. And I already went over that. So let's go into what doesn't work as well. Okay. Oops. So here we have Blake in a look that would look really wonderful on like theatrical romantic or soft dramatic. But on her, she looks a little constricted because um it's a little too evocative of yin, of womanly roundedness, cinchingness, curvature, delicacy. Um, it just doesn't look like it's meant for her. She doesn't look as powerful and vibrant and healthy and vigorous as she usually does because the fan point natural is a very robust look. It's a very healthy, robust, grounded figure. They look like they're here and they take up their space. And here, it looks like her clothes are not allowing her to take up her space, her rightful space. Here, I wanna just emphasize how certain shapes can really drag down the flamboyant natural on the shoulders just kind of make her look even longer and leaner than she is and it takes away the the beautiful broadness of the shoulders um and then the small tiny details in a kind of classic appropriate fabric and shape it just makes her look kind of boring like usually like looks super fun and spirited and sassy and here she just looks kind of boring this is a look that would look really beautiful and precise and sophisticated on the classic on her it just holds her down again with the kind of um constrictive shapes on the flamboyant natural when you're flamboyant natural you don't want to go too tight throughout your whole outfit it just it doesn't look right it just doesn't look like you're giving your body the the movement and the space that it needs no this is a very precise constricted shape that would look really good on some kind of classic but here it's just not as nice um here i just want to show you why the the chiffon doesn't really work for the flame white natural it's it just like clings like a wet blanket you know, flame white naturals ideally choose fabrics that kind of match their spirit, you know, has this body, some structure to it so that they're not doing all the supporting and that the support they do give with their body doesn't just, you know, fall flat with like chiffon and it just kind of just flows, which is much better for more delicate rounded shapes. Of course, you can get that fabric to work with you if you cut it in a way that it really emphasizes your your angles, but here it does not. Here we have Blake Lively in a very masculine outfit, and it doesn't work because <clears throat> she just kind of varies the angles of her body. It would work if like the the suit inside was, you know, a bit more tailored to 
show off her angles and it wasn't just a one kind of one dimensional span of you know medium to lightweight fabric and the the color and the small details of the print it just kind of washes her out and it's essentially a power suit this is supposed to look a very very powerful it's like a cape with a strong suit but she looks way more powerful in like a relaxed dress here, I just want to point out what happens when you dress up the flame white natural a little too much with pearls and um, too much makeup. She, she looks a bit older than she really is, dated. I, um, it just It's just a very matronly look on her because it doesn't evoke her flame white natural spirit. The the round pearls and like the very glamorous, saturated makeup, especially as there's too much contouring. The flame white natural doesn't need too much blending contouring. If you're gonna contour as a flame white natural, um, you don't need to like do blush and then two shades of bronzer and then a highlighter. Um, it can really overwhelm you and it, it looks a bit muddled. In here, I just want to point out the, you know, the shape of this dress. The shoulders are kind of constricted and hidden, and especially that like thin translucent fabric doesn't really do much justice. And then <clears throat> the, the empire waist is not emphasizing anything that is creating balance um if you're not gonna emphasize the waist loosely and have the balance of like flowing fabric you don't want to really do an empire waist with a kind of not flowing skirt and not tight skirt it's more like it's like a mix between a maxi skirt and an a-line skirt from what i can see in this photo it just doesn't create balance and in this last one um i just wanted to give another note i'm on on the flame white naturals specific unique type of queen like look um this is very strong minimalist dramatic kind of scheme going on where you do need to be tall to be able to pull off you know this great long expansive form-fitting cloth sorry fabric but um on the flame point natural it just looks a bit constricting especially with a hairstyle that's a bit too done up it doesn't have that body and that bounce and that liveliness it's just too it's just too done up and she doesn't look as elegant as she does in something a bit more broad and heavy and chunky and blocky so i hope i've made that point clear um, as to what really brings out a flamboyant natural's most beautiful regal look it's very specific like with all the touch they have a very specific way of looking their best and their most crisp and fun and present and um i hope you learned it from this video um please let me know what other types you want to see or if you have any questions and check out thealignlover.com for a link to my analysis have a great day bye